Hello, this is Gus the Wise. You know, it ain't happy people that are thankful, but it's thankful people that are happy. Howdy, today we're talking about agency, choices, you being in charge of your own self. Why then did God give them free will? Because free will, though it makes evil possible, is also the only thing that makes possible any love or goodness or joy worth having. It's that agency that, that makes freedom so important and respecting other people and respecting yours, and it does make it possible for evil to happen. But the good far, far outweighs the evil, if you'll use it for good. There must needs be a surrender of our will to God or to the devil to participate in good or evil. John A. Woodstall. Through the free agency of man, starting again, though the free agency of man is supreme with respect to himself, it must not interfere with the free agency of others. So you want people to respect your rights your right to yourself, your life, your decisions, your where you want to travel to, who you want to associate with, what job you want to do. You don't want people messing with that. You get to decide that. And it's equally important that you don't mess with anybody else's rights. They're for everybody. The rights are just as important for them as they are for you. And that's where the whole constitution and the whole life we have now here in America comes in. That was that was John Woodstow also. We say things like I have to or I can't but we always have a choice. Always. John G. Miller the question behind the question. The choice is always yours and you decide What's going to be the best in the long run? You should check in with your conscience and make a decision. The blame game, the other things out there making you do what you're going to do. No, you're supposed to decide. You're supposed to make things happen. You have influence over things. Use it. Stress is a choice. Because whatever the trigger event, we always choose our own response. We choose to react angrily. We choose to stuff our emotions and keep quiet. We choose to worry. John G. Miller, question behind the question. You have the, the, that something happens, and then you look at it from your frame of reference and your worldview, and that's where your power is. That's where you can change how you're going to respond. Most of us don't think about it, and then you boom, and we react. But there's that moment in between where we decide what it is and how bad it is and what it's going to do to us and how we can affect it and how it's going to affect us and anybody around us. And, and we apply to it what you want out of life. And you can change that. You've been taught when you're little and, and carrying all this baggage with you. But you can change it. You can decide right there in that little piece between the event and when you react. You can ponder a little deeper and react better. It, I hold it to be inalienable right of anyone to go to hell in his own way. Robert Frost. <laughs> so hit your like and your share, subscribe to this channel, and make some comments to let us know what you're thinking about and if we can do it any better or what you're thinking, what you want to have happen here. Anyway, thanks for listening.